everybody, this is an Apple for Nebulosa, and today I have for you the best, most super awesome thing ever. I have a Brea Brown tour. Okay, so this is super important. As you can see, my son says windfall stables on it. And um so like my barn is tiny. It is, I think, nine stalls. I don't know. Um, nope, actually, it's just seven stalls, not to count the paddock. Okay, so, like, yeah. So, my, it's just because, like, space is a huge issue for me, so I didn't have enough room. So, my barn is very odd. I will explain all the oddities on the way, and then here is my little sign. It says Windfall Stables, and it says Training, Lessons, Sporting, and it is an English training barn. And because I don't have any, like, store-bought with new saddles. And there's a fake phone number there. Fake. It's fake. It's, I wouldn't use a real phone number there. I mean, it probably is a real phone number, but, like, I don't know. It's just whatever numbers came to my head. So, here is the main barn area and my ugly paint curtains. Yeah, ugly. Um, but, like, so... I originally named my barn Second Chance Stables, and then I was looking at barn tours on YouTube, and then, oh, and here's um, Megan there, um, and then I was looking at barn tours on YouTube, and then I realized there was actually a different Second Chance Stables, a different barn, a Schleich barn that was named Second Chance Stables, and there's a channel, and I think there's like a number after it, but I can't remember what the number is. And I'm kind of too lazy to check, so I don't know. But search second chance tables. It's actually pretty good. Ooh, I like that person. I don't know what her name is. Ooh, okay, so like, uh, I'll just show you what the other sign was, because I actually, I don't like this one very much. I'll show you what the other one it was real quick. Okay, and here is the, um, like, the other one it says welcome to second chance stables and then it says uh other random phone number and then i had a lot of other details like i had a feed chart in there and just now that i finished the main construction of my barn i'm working on some of the other details but so i've just started that so i'm not fun done not fun i'm not done i am fun i'm very fun okay so We'll just, um, switch the sign out again. Okay, here we go. This sign is a lot smaller, and here is Luna. You may recognize her from a Stablemates barn tour. I just ran downstairs and stole her to make my sign look more professional. Okay, well, let's move on, because this is taking way too long. Um, so, this is the original barn part, and when I originally made this, I wanted to have a huge Schleich barn, but I didn't even have Schleichs yet, so that was kind of stupid on my behalf. So, I wanted this inside. I made it like this inside just so, like, I would just, this whole building would just be, like, the barn and everything. So, there was a tack area, a feed area, and there used to be a feed chart right here. And now there's just these two old feed bins. So, I don't know. Let's just start with the stalls. So, all the stalls have these little white water buckets just like this one here and i got these at value village and there was like just a bag of them and there was like 30 in the bag and i have like i've given a bunch to friends who make barns and i've like given tons away and i still have like 25 like i've given tons there was so many it was unbelievable and it was just for a dollar and i saw it and i was just like i have to get that um i don't know somebody totally just fell over i'm just gonna fix that Okay, I fixed that. It was just a horse in the arena. So, we have um, one of my second newest horses here. I got him for my birthday, and I've been wanting him for ages. And got him from CJ Brooks, used horse tack and feed shop that sells used buyer horses. And I think he is somebody else's custom. Because, as you can see, he's got no shading except for the black with shades itself. But his name is Diablo, and he doesn't have a show name yet. So... If you can think of a good show name for Diablo, then, like, rate it in the comments. And, because, I don't know. And he is a gelding. And he is a big, huge peanut right there. Stand. Ugh. hate this. 
And here is Carl to Lima Emma's stall. I'm never going to be able to pronounce that, like, quickly. She has, like, ye old feed dish in there. Um, and she is a traditional pony. She's a traditional fell pony. You'll meet her in a while. But I use her with my classics because she's the same size, and I love her so much, and I want to use her in something because I don't have a traditional barn. I only have, like, two other traditionals, but I have four traditional foals, which is crazy. I have, like, two foals per horse. It's crazy. More than two foals per horse. Anyway, so we have, like, these little show ribbons and these little hooks, and that's an empty hook, and I don't know. And there's two slightly full hooks. But here is, uh, what's his name? Uh, J.C. S no, it's G.S. Specklebum. Or is it J? I think it's G. Yeah, it's G. Okay, because I was like, his full name is like Julian S. Specklebum, which is weird, but I like the name Julian Forces. And I, this is like my favorite briar right here. I always, he's always in the stall. He is an Appaloosa sport horse. And I love him. He's so gorgeous. He is Chelsea's horse. So that's, um, and then we have this little tack area. This is Chelsea's tack area. This is Chelsea's saddle. This is, um, her, this is Specklebum's blanket. And then Chelsea has a lot of horses, so. And then she just has, okay, what's in here? I'm just gonna pull this out. Okay, I had to ruin about 20 mini setups to get this out. So, like, you better thank me. There, I just knocked over a jump. See how wonderful I am. Okay. And, okay, I'm just, like, going around knocking things over. I'm just, like, going to hold that with my toe. Yep, my toe. <laughs> um, so we have lead rope, random horse lead rope, random horse bridle that I made, string bridle, real bridle, saddle pad, other saddle pad. I love this color. And then... I'll put that back and write everything. Okay, so that's it for the main barn area, and I have to do this fast because the, be, the, um, the, be, the, <laughs> the light in my bedroom is dying. I cannot speak. So we'll go to this little paddock, and here we have Chelsea's newest horse, and he is green like he's well trained, but he's green. And sorry for all the background noise. Somebody's, like, entering my house noisily, and I don't know who it is. So we have Roxy. She is my newest briar. Um, she is a, like, an Arabian stallion, but, like, it's a stallion, but, like, when I pulled her out of the box, I was like, she can be Dancer's wife, and then I, like, three days after I got her and developed, like, an awesome female character for her, then I, like, looked to check, and I was like, oh, no, it's a stallion. I switched it. I never switch genders, but I did. Flash is an actual stallion. They're together. I don't know why, because they're best friends in this tiny little paddock, and they're both bolting, and then she's going to jump over this and escape, and the whole world's going to end, because she's a serial killer. No, she's not. That was weird. I don't even think I, I pronounced those words right, but oh well. I love... Okay, this is, like, oh so my favorite horse. I love... I don't like chestnuts in real life. I don't ha like how chestnuts look in real life, but I love rare chestnuts. Oh, and here is Patchy the puppy forgot about him okay so now we'll go over here to my tack room and i just finished making this like 15 minutes ago and then i started the video um so we have this little i don't know i don't know what to do with these box flaps and i haven't decided yet Ooh, there's my bed that's my bed i love my bed it's so cozy i have my gigantic hippo don't you love gigantic hippos okay so like i've a lot of stuff under my bed because it like looks messy but it's storage okay so we have saddle 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 i made this western saddle it's really bad like i'm proud of it for a first effort it's okay right i don't have like leather so yeah so this is like this sink here with a sponge under it and we have a bridle more bridle hooks I'm going to do, like, a video on how I made it. And, oh, no, the model horses are dead. Okay, I'm going to fix that. Okay, the models are no longer dead. Um, so these are, like, these little tiny horses I found at the dollar store, and they are both customs, and they are tiny, like, my finger and them. 
They're, like, even smaller than Mini Minis, I think. Um, I wanted to use them for, like, statues or model horses. They actually end up being a bit too small for statues. They'd be better for statues in, like, a Schleich barn. And we have trophies there, too. I don't know where the silver one came from, and then the blue one's actually a stable meat trophy. I mean, ribbon. Um, and then we have this little shelf that is currently nothing in it because I haven't made anything to go in it yet. Okay. But, like, they were from the doll store, and they were ugly, and I just was like, I have to customize those. Okay, so then we have this other tack box. Oh, no. Everything is falling down. Like, my life is just about falling down. Okay, this is Duchess's and Sarah's tack box. You have no idea who they are. So we have Helmet. I love going through tack boxes. Uh, this is Charlie. He is not in today's barn. Since my main barn is the only barn where I change the horses, I put new horses in there every day. My paddocks and then my two other separate stalls, no, four, um, are all permanent. And then, so I switch them out every day. And at the end of this video, I'm going to, um, like, show some other examples of what other horses might be. So this is Charlie, his custom saddle pad. Like, custom as in, it's for him. It's messy. And then we have Duchess's. It says Duchess on the side, I think. Yep, it does. Um, and then Charlie is a vaulting slash trick rider horse. So here's his vaulting saddle. And this is Sarah's really bad Edie's. Um, this is an adjusted Barbie bathing suit from, like, the 90s or, I don't know, some very old time frame. I'm bad at, like, which time frame it is, but that's Sarah's vaulting outfit. I'm just gonna put this back in. Okay, that's it for my tack room. It's just like the vaulting saddle is sorry, I'm just like shifting my position is like really hard to squeeze in. So now we have Haywin Blue's stall. So like Haywin, I know it sounds like Quinn. So like when I first started collecting briars, because Haywin was the third briar I ever got. So um, I was at my friend's house, and she was, like, showing me all her traditional models, and she was like, oh, and this is Haywin, and I was like, whoa, she's so gorgeous, and then I was, like, obsessed with her, and I was like, I need to get this horse, and then I got, hey and then when I got this Haywin for Christmas, I was like, I gotta name her Haywin, because she looks slightly similar, and, and then I, because, the name, she came with a book, and then in the book, her name was Wild Blue. She is an Appaloosa Mustang. And then I was like, and then, so I was like, I have, so I just put Blue on the end. And then later, I figured out that it's actually Huin, not Haywin. That's just how my friend pronounced it. But, yeah. Um, so, and then here's Duchess's stall. We've got, like, these little posters and a hook and a ribbon and a little backpack full of stuff. That's Sarah's backpack. Ooh, and then we have these two little fulls. So we have, oh, and the bunny. I love this little Schleich bunny. Her name is Snowball. And a piece of fencing just fell down. All the hoses are going to escape. Me, 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 me. I'm going to escape backwards. Okay, yeah, he's not going to do that. There we go. Stay. Um, then we have Socks here. And he is Haywin's full. And then we have um, Blitz here, and I actually don't know who her mother is, so, yeah, <laughs> um, she is an orphan, um, that's, like, it for this little section, and, yeah, we, did we cover the pasture? We covered the pasture. Let's move on to the arena, so the arena is just this space, I haven't made an arena that is on my next list. Megan is totally falling over. Okay, this is where all the people are. So we have, so all we have to do is the arena and then this part, the tack slash feed room. You've heard me talking about my mush together tack room. So you can finally see it. So we've got like little signs in here and tack boxes. We'll go through all this later. So let's start right here. So we have Sarah. This is my favorite rider. I love like changing my riders a little bit. Like I gave her braids and I tucked in her shirt and that's like just some minor adjustments, but 
I really didn't like like her very much when I got her. I was like, oh, this rider like looked way better online, and it's not actually that nice. But I've given her adjustments, and she is my favorite rider. Like, you know, I'm not a huge pink person, but then we have this little grooming kit, and um, think what do we have in here? Dump this. Eh. Okay, we have a sponge, and then this like sweat scraper that's made out of a sponge and then this is a toothbrush with like the head sawed off and then I use the head as a grooming brush don't worry it's a clean toothbrush because that'd be nasty really nasty and then this is a little hose and then we just have some sort of something rather on the shelf Ooh! oh I almost forgot we have a cat here this is Luna the cat oh and we have other cats here we have the big yellow one there is the big yellow mama cat, her name is Sunny, and then the white kitten's name is Pirate, then we have Licorice in the blue, and and um, Lavender in the purple. And here's Megan, and her hair just, like, fell out of its braid, so it's everywhere. And, like, this shirt is terrible, I know. It's like converted Barbie, Barbie bathing suit because she is the same as Chelsea over here. But I changed her to make her look a little different because I didn't need two Chelsea's. It was an accident. Um, but I did really need another rider. What is happening over here? Ugh, that's not good. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? Okay, I'm just going to. Okay, so, like, here is Megan, and she is giving her. She is the owner of the barn. Sarah boards her horse. Duchess, this is Duchess. Sarah's giving Duchess a bath, in case I didn't already say that. And Megan is giving, love this lunge whip. Megan is giving Chelsea a lesson. Here's Chelsea, and I drew this on her shirt, this little horsey thing here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and because it's the middle of summer, and it's a summery, windy day. And here is Carlton Lima Emma, the fell pony, the queen's horse, and she's getting a lesson. Um, this is Megan's horse, but she Megan is allowing her to ride that. All the horses are like Megan's horses, but Megan just lets everybody ride everybody else. And then we have a jump. Then we have another jump. And now we just have the feed room. Whoa, this has been 17 minutes long. Oh my goodness, I'm appalled. Sorry, people. This is bad. Okay. Here's Spotty Dat. I have the weird, I have the lamest names, but like, it's because I love them. Oop, there's my finger. And so then we have this little door, which is just a bend in the cardboard. So we have these pictures, and then we have the mellow, that's the calming feed. The young, and this is the other feed, and okay. So this is for like, foals, you can see what's in there. This is the mellow, it's the calming feed, it's for horses. Maybe a pregnant mare or a... This one's for a newborn foal. And this is for, like, a horse that needs to calm down if it, like, hurt its leg because we don't want it freaking out because that'd be messy. Eh. Okay. And then this is the racing feed. Wait. Oh, no. I think I got these mixed up. I think this is actually the racing feed in here, and this is the young ones. I think I put the wrong lids on. Then we have, like, the feed for every horse, and I don't really want to, like, I'm too lazy to pick that up. And then we have these, and these are, like, different mixes. Like, that's the mix for a full, that's the mix for an average horse. It's the mix for a racer. I think, I don't know what that is the mix for. Can't remember. I think this is the mix for an injured horse. That's the mix for a fulling mare, and I think that's the mix for a racer. So just, like, an example. And then we have these little medicine bottles, and I haven't given them all labels. And then we have some supplements here. And the tack boxes. So we have all these little saddle pads here. And then we have some feed for Luna, who's not in today's barn. Ugh, I'm so tired. Like, I am honestly so tired of talking. Ugh. Okay, so in here we have some brushes and some saddle pads and some other stuff. And then if we open up this, and I'm just going to, like, let everything spill everywhere. We have a Western Bridal. Ooh, this is an awesome thing to show. This is a saddle. Made, this is a photocopied saddle. Didn't photocopy well. I need to retry that. And 
it is, and then it's got felt backing, and it's super cool, and it's a bareback saddle. So, now I'll give you an overview of my barn that I have just destroyed along the way. So, like, my room is small, so it's, like, it stretches a long way. It's pretty big. Oop, there's some random stuff on the ground, like always. So, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. I hope I didn't bore you. This was 20 minutes long. I'm so sorry. Um, and see y'all next time. Bye!